شب تاپ شب دو We're making that mirror back there. It's from an old picket fence, and we glued it to plywood, and now it's a giant mirror. It used to be a picket fence, but now it's not, because we recycled it. Decide how big you'd like your plywood to be and cut it to size. I found this mirror at a yard sale for $10. Up the fence into a whole bunch of pieces. We're going to screw them to the plywood and it's going to go all the way around the mirror. The mirror is going to be in the middle and it's going to be really good. It's going to be giant. It's going to be like 45 by 57. Cut your fence pieces randomly and decide what color you'd like them to be. Hey, Nui's favorite color is blue Montana sky. He can't get enough of it. Santa Fe turquoise right here. It's good. Justin Gulf Green, that's a good one too. Nantucket Spray. Virginia Chestnut right here. It's like brownie cake batter or melted chocolate. CC Caldwell products are non-toxic and come in 36 amazing colors. You can paint on just about any surface without sanding or priming. We're going to paint them all again a second time. Every single piece of wood, we're going to take a damp rag and we're going to wipe off the color so that it's two colors kind of weathered out together. And we're not even going to use sandpaper because we don't need it. And it's going to be magic. Wait for your first coat to dry and then add your second color. Then take a damp rag and rub the first color through. This is much better than using sandpaper as it's more authentic and mimics how paint wears over time. You can distress a little or a lot depending on how weathered you want your project to look. For this part I'm using my sander to round out the edges. Applying the wax is my favorite part. Cece's wax is completely non-toxic and works like magic. An important thing to remember is that a little goes a long way, especially when using the dark wax. I put a little too much on here, so I'm going back with the clear wax and using it like an eraser. Always apply your clear wax first and then add your dark wax. Wait for it to dry and buff it out with a soft cloth. One thing I wish I would have done was outline my boards. Getting them back on was a little bit tricky. Before we attach all of the wood permanently to the board, we're going to glue it down. We're going to take the whole mirror, flip it up, so we're going to attach everything from the back with this. Use carpenter's glue and let your boards dry overnight. Then attach everything permanently with wood screws from the back. I painted the edge of the mirror with Virginia chestnut and added a coat of satin finish. This protects the mirror and brings all of the colors to life. So thanks for watching our video and subscribe to our channel if you like it and leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in the next video. Let us know if you'd like to see a headboard or a doghouse. I was thinking about making a doghouse for the pup or a headboard for my mom. He really needs a doghouse because he's out of control. We're going to puppy training school next week. CC Caldwell Paint is the best paint in the world and it's sold worldwide. Click the link down below to find a dealer near you and visit my blog for more details on this project. Thanks for watching!